Welcome to Brimfield. Hey guys, it's Brimfield week. If you don't know, Brimfield is the biggest flea market in America and it happens three times a year. And we are going on a Tuesday for the dealer's choice market. So in Brimfield, there are like so many markets happening in this one week. So you can go any day of the week and there will be markets. Uh, we're trying to find parking now. It's really full. We're here, we parked. Parking is $20, that's crazy. Uh, but there's another flea market also right in front of me that is not the dealer's choice. So a few markets happening in one day all over town. The market is so huge. I'm like kind of lost. We're trying to find where the dealer's choice is, but it's like market inside a market inside a market. Okay, so tip number one know that it's gonna be overwhelming because there's so many, so many like booths, like so many. doing carb break because we need to get carb in our system so that we can shop non-stop for four hours closes at five and it's now one let's go first break before shopping it is my first time here at Brimfield and I've always wanted to go because you know I'm really into vintage and I used to have a vintage store so it is like the mecca of flea market because the whole town is just flea market all weekend long all week long this is crazy I have been walking for like the past 10 minutes to go to dealer's choice and the market doesn't end. It's one market after another, after another. You see like these tents, these are all like booths selling antique and vintage. found it it's only at the very end of the market and but good thing is that we pass all of the other markets on the way here and then we get to check them out again when we go back to our car where we parked so let's go
walking back to where we parked while checking out the uh, other markets on the way. People finish very early. It's only 3 o'clock and you see a lot of them already packing up because I feel like they start at 6 a.m. So if you want uh, some serious, serious shopping, you gotta spend the night here and come here at 6, like 6, 7 a.m. It's 4.30 and the market is winding down. We're leaving. I'm starving. We didn't really have lunch except for that um, fries that we had. But it's a good experience. I um, mean, I know that it's the first time and I'm going to be very overwhelmed. So I anticipated that. I was really focusing on just getting jewelry and looking at jewelry. So I got a few pieces that I really like and I wasn't really putting pressure on myself to like shop like crazy. I just want to take it all in, get to know the market and see how, you know, see how it is. Um, yeah, overall it's a very good experience. I definitely will come earlier next time. Um, yeah, it's good to see. Prices are always, of course, a hit or miss depending, you know, on the dealer sometimes you get a good deal sometimes they know what they have so it's going to be high prices but it is such a fun experience and i really recommend it if you have never gone to this market it's the biggest flea market in the states and it happens three times a year may july and september i wouldn't recommend going to july because it's going to be hot like crazy this is like outdoor in a field and also i hear a lot of like dealers they're not planning to come for July because you know it's gonna be hot but May is good because like it's the first time of the year and they bring whatever they have been compiling for you know for the past year and September is also good they probably give you a good deal so I highly recommend it if you love flea market if you love vintage if you love antique this is such a fun thing to do especially if you have more time and you can spend the night there are many different markets happening every day throughout the week so it's amazing and we're gonna go maybe eat some crackle barrel because it is not a road trip without crackle barrel and that's it thank you so much for coming with us guys and i'll see you next time don't forget to subscribe bye hello everyone i hope you enjoyed the brimfield vlog it was definitely such a fun experience i would love to go back again i was there mainly for jewelry if you don't know already i'm really really into antique jewelry uh, you can find my insta for antique jewelry if you're interested i just want to show you um a few things that i purchased from that day this is a beautiful english fob antique victorian with um smoky quartz in the bottom so it's gold on the top and quartz on the bottom. So a fob is usually a seal that you use, you know, when you send letters and you put wax and then you put your seal of your initial or the symbol of your, your family crest or something like that. So I have always been obsessed with fobs. So if ever I see one at a price that is good, I usually try to pick it up. So it's a beautiful one. It has all the English hallmark. Love, love this. Another piece uh, is this beautiful locket. I love, love locket. I think they're very versatile and they're very, very easy to layer on your necklaces. This one is 14 karat gold and it's, I think, also Victorian just from the look of the engraving of the initials on it. It's so beautiful. I love how they do engraving back in the day and they just don't really do it like this anymore in my opinion 
It's always so beautiful every time I see a locket with engraving. I pick them up. I don't even care if it's my engraving or not. I have one that I wear all the time and it's not even my initials. Yeah, so ex those are the two examples of the things that I purchased from Broomfield. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.